So I think um, as far as crypto, as far as pump and dump schemes are concerned, I believe that crypto is a highly respectable pump and dump scheme. All crypto is a pump and dump scheme because it has no inherent value. Sure. Yes, it doesn't really give you any true return. And pretty much the whole thing is built on sentiment and belief in the technology. Having said all that, though, crypto is a scam. It's my favorite scam, though. <laughs> and as my as I don't really care about the integrity of my channel, but I don't really care. <coughs> Boom. Hold on. Boom. Wait. What the fuck? I can't even where my fingers are. Mm -hmm. There we go. BlockFi. FTX. Why are you not downloading them, boys? Why are you not downloading them? Why are you not putting your money in there? All you... All you... Y'all pussies? Y'all pussies? I don't know. Y'all pussy boys, you're afraid. Yeah, strong man personal finance is going to be like, oh, VT, VT, VT. I say bankrupt, bankrupt, bankrupt. That's the only thing I know. Guess what? I know what you all are capable of. FTX. Look, download the apps or Sam Bankman Fried is going to do some things. Now, I know it. I know these companies are built on nothing. All crypto exchanges are technically built on nothing. And um, that's the point. Binance is just as fraudulent as FTX. BlockFi is just as fraudulent as Binance. They're all the same thing. Any Coinbase is a grift. <coughs> Anything that is a pure crypto exchange. Anything that deals heavily in crypto is going to go bankrupt eventually because all cryptocurrency must go to its intrinsic value, which is zero. You know what's worth something? Gold. You want to? You know, it's so funny. the The argument is that Bitcoin has utility. The only problem is, in order to use Bitcoin as a currency, you have to have some form of technology, some form of like a computer, right? You have. I don't have to consume any power to hold a dollar. I don't have to consume any power to hold um, gold, silver. The point is, all crypto is bullshit. It's all a grift. It's all a pyramid scheme. Bitcoin's a scheme. Ethereum is a scheme. And anybody who tries to say otherwise, it's just wrong. I mean, look, I'll debate y'all. <clears throat> I, I was listening to this chode who was on like CNBC and he's like, oh, Bitcoin's different. It's different than everything else. And I was like, dude, no, it's not. It's the same thing. Most of those, all those fucking sub cryptos are built off their clones of Bitcoin. <laughs> and they all suck. They all suck. They're all Ponzi scheme bullshit. Um, crypto is, uh, for the longest time, I've been saying it's a bad idea. Bad idea, bro. But um, no, I, I think what we're seeing right now in the cryptoverse is to be expected. It was all to be expected. Um, crypto is not a technology that's worth it. I'm sure if you can't really invest in it because the algorithm is open source. Nobody owns it. Um, any of the coins that you have, sure, there's a proof of work structure and all. That's great. It's really cool. I really, I think Bitcoin is cool. The concept is neat. The technology is badass, but there's no real value there. You don't own the technology. When you own Facebook, for instance, even though I think Meta is a shitty company, <coughs> you're at least an owner in Facebook. You're an owner in a service. Nobody can own the actual Bitcoin. Nobody can own the Bitcoin algorithm. Nobody. <laughs> It's all out there. You can help contribute by mining. That's fine. But it's all it's all it's all a pyramid scheme. It's all a Ponzi scheme. Any any company that is built on crypto as its sole asset is going to crumble. Because there's nothing real there. There's nothing of real intrinsic value there. And that's our problem. 
It's called a cryptocurrency for a reason. The US dollar will eventually go to zero. The yen, anything that hasn't been backed by anything of real value will eventually go to zero. That includes Bitcoin. That includes Ethereum. It's still garbage. <coughs> and my bet against all of it is justified. It's very justified. Now, there will always be a group of idiots who still think it's an investment, who still think that Bitcoin's a real investment. And I will, I will still hold my Bitcoin just in case. But uh, I have a lot more money betting against it. And I'm very happy about it. In fact, I'm really kind of hoping that Bitcoin goes up and up and up and up and up in value. So that way my biddy goes down and down and down in value so I could buy more and more of the biddy. Now, I do uh, day, I wouldn't say day trade, but I do swing trade the biddy. And really, I just, I, it's on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, if the biddy's down for the day, you know, it goes down like rapidly, buy more. Then it usually goes back up because there's the thing, man. Crypto has no real value. So betting against it is really um, kind of a fail safe. Like if the if the if the stock market really, really crashes like really, really hard. So will Bitcoin, because here's the thing. Most people are using leverage to invest in Bitcoin. They're using margin, <laughs> not not real margin. I don't think they can. But some some brokerages give you the ability to do margin with the crypto. And it's surprising. Um Let's see. Yeah, crypto's all a joke, though. It's such a joke. Such a fucking joke, man. BlockFi, oh my God. <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's insane, man. <clears throat> you guys gonna check out my Rumble page, though? Rumble's where it's at, boys. It's where it's at. I'm glad my subscribers realize that I'm such a ridiculous bro. I'm such a ridiculous boy. Oh, man. But these are exciting times, you guys. It's all exciting times. By the end of the day, I hope I have opened people's eyes. I guess that's the thing I want to open up is just ask yourself at the end of the day, does this product have intrinsic value and you have to be forced to answer and that answer happens to be no bitcoin ethereum all of it it's all garbage dogecoin shiba inu all the garbage <coughs> and um that's just kind of how it rolls and um i hope you all realize it eventually I'm exposed to the cryptoverse. Don't get me wrong. I'm exposed. I have exposure. But at the end of the day, I just laugh my ass off because people really think. <laughs> so ridiculous. Well, <clears throat> hope you all enjoyed this episode. Tomorrow's my Friday, and I cannot be more thrilled. Seriously. Done. Done, son. Ugh. But anyway, so before we end the episode, just remember, even though I talked a whole bunch of trash about crypto, I want to help you lose money. That's my guarantee to you. If I can... Now, not all the time do I want you to lose money. I would rather you invest in either index funds or... Or high quality companies that pay a dividend alternatively. But I know that none of you really want to do that. <clears throat> I know that none of you actually want a sound financial future. So I'm going to say this right now. I want to help you lose money. And the best way to help you lose money is this right here. And this right here, BlockFi and FTX. I want to help you lose money. Look, you want to lose money at the casino? It takes long to lose your money. Would you want to lose your money on FTX and BlockFi? It's instantaneous on how quickly you lose money. At least you'll get your time back. Where in the casino, you'll spend eight hours there and lose it all. Okay. Fine by me. Boom. Boom. Enough said. Easy money. I can't help myself, boys. I can't help myself, girls. 
Hee <laughs> hee. Later, everybody. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to party? I am. Yeah. I think. <laughs>